Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna this interesting viewer suggested algebra question from GeoAdvanced Mathematics, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is, what's the value of six plus log of the base of three over two? And your argument is one over three radical two times square root of four minus one over three radical two times square root of four minus one over three radical two times square root of the same one. So it looks like we have this infinite nested radical inside of your argument. So that's why the first step, I'll be calling this infinite nested radical part as just a k. Okay, then your k is equal to, okay, the square root of 4 minus 1 over 3 radical 2 times square root of 4 minus 1 over 3 radical 2 times square root of the same one, and so on. Okay, then let me square the left and right hand side, right? So if you square the left and the right hand side, then we can take this square root part away, right? So if you take that away, then the left hand side is only going to be just a k square. And the right hand side, take this square root away, then we have 4 minus 1 over 3 radical 2 times square root of 4 minus 1 over 3 radical 2 times square root of 4 minus 1 over 3 radical 2, and so on. So now take a look at this square root part, right? Because we're working on infinite nested radical. The square root of 4 minus 1 over 3 radical 2 and so on. This term is also the same as just a k, right? Okay, so that's why your expression has to be then k squared is equal to 4 minus 1 over 3 radical 2 times just a k. Okay, so let's work this quadratic equation out for the k. Okay, first of all, let me multiply 3 radical 2 on the left and right hand side. Then we have 3 radical 2k squared um, is equal to 12 radical 2 minus just a k. Okay, let's move these two terms on the left hand side. We have then 3 radical 2k squared, and then we have plus k. Then minus 12 radical 2, this is now equal to 0. Quadratic equation for the k, right? Okay, then this is a quadratic equation for the k. So let me factor this left hand side. So look at your left hand side. The leading coefficient is 3 radical 2. And the coefficient of the k is now just a 1. And your constant term is negative 12 radical 2. Okay, so take a look at it. Both your leading coefficient and the constant term contain radical 2. So that's why maybe if you factor this left hand side out, it should be just looking like um, a k plus b times now c k plus d form, right? Okay, so if you anyway expand this, it should be looking like a c k square and then plus a d. Let me make a parenthesis a now d plus b c parenthesis k plus now b d. Okay, so in our expression, AC has to be the leading coefficient, AD plus BC has to be the coefficient of the K, and BD is your constant term. So look at your leading coefficient and constant term again. So they both have the square root of 2. So that's why maybe we can say A times C. Either A or C could be just a radical 2, and the other one has to be just a whole number. So let me say A is now 3, and C is square root of 2. Okay, looking at this constant term, negative 12 radical 2. So maybe either B or D contains square root of 2. And then the coefficient of the K is equal to 1. So two numbers that we can come up with to make 1 by adding up. Maybe 3 and 4 with different sign. So that's why I'll be saying your B is now equal to, okay, negative 4 radical 2. And then your D is now equal to 3. So making sure A, C, A times C is equal to 3 radical 2. And B times D is equal to negative 12 radical 2. So the only thing we need to check is whether AD plus BC is equal to 1 or not, right? Okay, so AD. A times D is equal to uh, then 9. And then BC. BC is now negative 4 radical 2 times radical 2. That is negative 8. Okay, if you add them up, that is equal to 1. So that's why we got all of your A, B, C, D correctly. Okay, so that is why now this factor of the form has to be now then 3 k now plus b, that was negative 4 
radical 2 times now your c was equal to square root of 2, right? Square root 2k now, and then uh, d, d was now 3. This needs to be equal to 0. Okay, then we have two cases. Case number one is 3k is equal to 4 rather 2. Case number two is now square root 2k is equal to negative 3. Case number one says your k is equal to 4 rather 2 over 3. And case number two says your k is equal to negative 3 over square root of 2. At least case number two is not the one because your k has to be positive number, right? So that's why case number two is not the one we need to take a look at. That means your k needs to be equal to 4 rather 2 over 3. Okay, since we got the value of the k, let's just plug this value to this k. So you're working on now 6 plus log the base of 3 over 2. And then argument is now 1 over 3 radical 2 times the value of the k. 4 radical 2 over now 3. Okay, so same slide, we can cancel this square root 2 out, and you end up with 6 plus log the base of 3 over 2, and then your argument is now 4 over 9. 4 over 9 is a perfect square, 2 over 3 square. So that's why this is the same as 6 plus log with a base of 3 over 2 with an argument of 2 over 3 now square. Let's use the log property, right? Okay, so we can rewrite this as now then 6 plus log 3 over 2 is the same as now then 2 over 3 to the power of negative 1. So 2 over 3 to the power of negative 1 is the base of the log now, right? And then your argument is now 2 over 3 squared. I'll be using this log property. If you have the log with a base of, say, a to the power of b, and then argument of c to the power of d, this is the same as d over b times log the base of a with argument of c. Using this log property, right? So we can rewrite your, then we can rewrite this as 6, and then 2 over negative 1, that is negative 2, times log with a base of 2 over 3 with an argument of the same 2 over 3, which is just equal to 1. So that's why 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. So 4 is the answer for this question. Okay, pretty interesting algebra question from G Advanced Mathematics. I'll be back with more, more questions like this sometime soon.